We are all familiar with that galaxy far, far away, but what if we set that aside and just focused on the long time ago part? What if these characters existed in our universe? What would they look like during Earth's medieval time? And welcome back to part three of making the Mandalorian suit of armor as if it existed in our media. Wait a second. As if it existed in our medieval times, today we're going to be making the breast and the back plate one of the most iconic pieces of Mandalorian armor. And we've once again teamed up with Slava the Armorsmith to create this amazing suit of armor in a medieval style of his own choosing. The thickness of the sheet that we're using for the breastplate is about 1.2 millimeters, and that is equivalent to what a medieval breastplate would have been. This piece will be the central part of the breastplate, the T-shaped breastplate. And that is a very iconic look for Mandalorian armor. And in order to form the initial crease down the center and the rolled edge, Slava's elected to leave that pattern intact into the actual sheet. That way he can form it easier without it mangling and misforming, and then we can cut the final shape out after all the forming is done. Well, this build is going absolutely fantastic. Let me tell you about something else great, and that's today's sponsor that made this video possible, and that is Rise of Kingdoms. Rise of Kingdoms is a history-based strategy game with 13 civilizations with epic battles to fight. And with the newly released free-to-play PC version, the game is now optimized for the big screen, and you can use classic RTS controls and play cross-platform. In Rise of Kingdoms, you can experience a technology tree that's based on real world logic. And you can choose the route in which you choose to grow your team. What technology is the best? What's the strongest? You get to decide. And another way to grow your unique army in Rise of Kingdoms is to unlock elite soldiers from history simply by researching their prerequisites. No matter if it's the British Longbowmen or the German Teutonic Knights, you can experience their glory in their heyday and crush your enemies with ease. Guard your lands. Rise of Kingdoms unique alliance technology allows you to team up with your friends to conquer the lands, discover new places that your enemies haven't, and with upgrades even your low ranking soldiers can team up to surprise your enemies with elite attacks. And the PC version is compatible on most computers and screen sizes so you can play in the comfort of your home or while you're on the move. Guys, sponsorships like this are very important for our channel that allow us to do what we do and make content for you. So be sure to use our unique link or our QR code along with the promo code to help us and you're going to get some special rewards out of the deal. Technology is power. So join me and try out Rise of Kingdoms today. So you're going to notice a lot of rolled edges on today's project. That's because with a breastplate, you have a lot of wear surfaces where your skin may come in contact, such as this piece, which is near your throat or your armpits. All of that stuff needs to have rolled edges. Otherwise, you're going to damage yourself when you're wearing armor trying to protect yourself. With the central T now established, time to start on the actual breast parts of the cuirass, or the breast plate.
to start forming the actual breast, the left and the right, those will be formed separately and then attached together later. You just start dishing it, start creating some initial form that you can then go in and crisp up all those angles that are really classically known in Mandalorian armor. All right, now that the boob armor is complete and attached to the central T, it's time to start on the ab portion. To begin forming the ab or the stomach section, it's much like how we did the breast portion. You're just gonna start bending that material, dishing it slightly, and then you can add in all the angles with different stakes and different hammers to create those really nice sharp creases. So I've been referring to this suit as a medieval suit, however, you can see with the breastplate that it's beginning to take on more of a Greek style, and with that style comes a skirt that covers the loin area. So to begin doing that, he's once again going to start by cutting out the patterns and start forming them. They have to fit pretty tight to the bottom of the cuirass, the bottom of the abs, so they have to be formed on the same uh, piece of tooling that the breastplate was formed on. That way they can fit nice and snug and everything has the same curvature. In Star Wars canon, we almost always see a central diamond that's added to the suit of armor on all Mandalorian armor, and that is known as the Iron Heart. That's usually a separate piece of metal, Beskar steel usually, that's added to the soft kit of the armor. In this case, Slav is actually going to raise that shape right out of that central T portion to give it more strength and, well, he likes a challenge. Slava really made it look quite easy to raise this diamond out of sheet metal, but to do it without any distortion around it really is next level. One neat trick is to use a set of calipers to mark a border that you're going to be rolling. This will give you a consistent thickness around your entire perimeter of your armor piece.
As I stated in the last part of this video, it's very important to Slava that all armor he makes, even comical armor such as Mandalorian armor, all moves and works as it should. That means it has to articulate, meaning he's going to attach some pieces with leather, some with slots and rivets, so all the armor moves while you move. That allows maximum mobility for the fighter and every kind of engagement. And if you're enjoying this series, and specifically this video, don't forget to give it a like, give it a thumbs up, let us know, and let YouTube know that this is quality content. Today is a good day for someone else to die. That's the phrase that Slav is going to be putting in Mandalorian across the top portion of the breastplate. On part one and part two of this series, I mentioned that I myself made a suit of Mando armor. And here's my helmet. You can see I made it out of steel. It even has a dent where I actually shot it with a real bullet. And I just thought it would be cool to show you guys something that I've referenced now for a couple videos. You can see since the last time I wore this helmet, my beard's got a little longer. I may need to make some modifications. The whole point of this collaboration is not only to bring this amazing suit of armor to life, but also to promote Slava's English-speaking channel. Don't forget to check out the comments, click the link, and go support him by subbing to that channel. Just like with the helmet and the shoulders and the gorget, Slava's going to be giving a two-toned color look to the breastplate. How's he going to do that? Well, pretty simple. He's going to use a torch to selectively heat up areas of the breastplate and then use a brass brush to deposit the brass on the surface. The only thing he really has to be careful about is not overheating those portions or it will kind of deform and things won't fit exactly how he wants. And with just a few rivets, a little bit of leather, and a whole lot of skill, we're finally going to be able to see this full suit of Mandalorian armor come to life. This has been a great journey of a three-part series here on That Works, where we teamed up with the armor smith Slava on a great project. I hope to do more, and be sure to tell us in the comments what weapon we should make, Ilya and I should make, to pair with this armor, and if you want to continue with this series, should we do some leg armor, perhaps some sabatons? Where should we go with this? Let us know in the comments if you would like to see more.
maximum mobility. Now, all we have to do is make a jetpack. This suit of armor is turning out absolutely amazing. If you haven't seen part one and part two, check out the playlist I made right here. And don't forget to subscribe to Slava's armor making channel.